This episode is sponsored by Mountain Khakis. Work hard, play harder. Check out Mountain Khakis apparel made for adventure at mountainkhakis.com. For quick tips, behind the scenes footage, giveaways, and to see what I'm working on right now, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we'll use this small handheld router and a few router bits to make molding, and then we'll use the molding to make two picture frames with this one board. This board is described as a five quarter by eight. The wood is poplar, and if you're not familiar with buying lumber, lumber is always described heavier than it actually is. So this five quarter by eight actually measures about an inch and a sixteenth by seven and a quarter. If you want to build this project, I'll have a list of all the router bits along with the drawing that you'll be able to find on my website and I'll have a link in the description. This is the first piece of molding I'm going to make and I'll get started by ripping the board at an inch and three eighths. This is called a corner beading router bit and I'll use this bit to add this bead profile on the inside of the frame. Before running the router down the length of the board, I'll test it on the edge to make sure I'm at the correct height. The next step is to use a quarter inch rabbiting bit to make a notch that will accept a piece of quarter inch plywood. The next piece of molding is this back band, and I'll make this piece by ripping the board at an inch and five eighths, and then resaw that rip at three eighths of an inch, making two pieces of molding that measure an inch and five eighths by three eighths of an inch. Now I'll raise the blade, set the fence at three eighths of an inch, and resaw the board. For the back band, I'm using a small roundover bit. The last piece of molding is this piece of cove molding, and to make that, I'll use a cove bit in the router. This is a larger router simply because I couldn't find my cove bit with a quarter inch shank. This router has a half inch shank and will accommodate this router bit, but you can definitely make cove molding with the smaller router that I have been using. To get started, I'll rip two pieces from the board at a half of an inch. Now I've set the fence at 5 sixteenths of an inch and I'll use the offcut for the molding. I've just reset the fence at 7 sixteenths of an inch. I'll take the molding and flip it like this and run it through the saw one more time. Okay, well now that I've finished cutting the molding, I'll get to work on making the frames. Just a quick tip before we get started, this is called a sacrificial fence. I've got a video on my channel on how to make one. This makes making frames very easy because you can line your pencil mark up with the saw curve cut into the sacrificial fence. Since both of these frames are the exact same size, I've made a mark on the sacrificial fence at seven and a quarter for the short molding and nine and a quarter for the long molding. 
and I'll make four cuts at each length. After cutting the molding, I need to take the cut off, flip it over, cut a new miter on it, flip it over again, and then hold it at the mark. For these frames, I'm building the inside frame first. I'm using inch and a quarter nails in the nail gun. And once the inside frame is built, I'll build off of that. With the inside frames finished, next I'll use the back band to band the edge. And I'll keep the back band flush with the back of the frame. Holding the outside of the frame on the inside cut of the miter, I'll mark a line for the next cut. Now that I'll be attaching the smaller moldings, I've replaced the inch and a quarter nails with three quarter inch nails in the nail gun. Now I'll attach the cove molding to the inside of the frame. Notice how I always hold the molding to the left of the saw blade, and I never change the angle of the saw. For flat moldings or moldings with a 90 degree angle reference, you can change the direction of the miter cut simply by flipping the molding. The last piece of molding is a piece of quarter inch plywood ripped at one inch. This molding will fit into the rabbit joint at the back of the frame and hold the artwork in place. I fill all the nail holes with joint compound, prime the frames with a latex acrylic primer, let it dry, then give the frames a good sanding and then they're ready for paint. To see what I'm working on now, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. For vlog style Q&As, check out my second channel, Shop Talk.